Our new bows and skills let us get into this new place, but I'm not sure I'm ready for it yet. Oh my god, especially if things are going to explode. There are so many ambushes and so many different creatures in this area, and so many new and familiar at the same time mechanics that I have to deal with. And a lot of stuff that it's going to explode. So if I can utilize the explosion to my advantage, I will be that much better off. Because I can use the explosion to actually blow up all of the enemies that I otherwise would not be able to deal with by my lonesome, because there's too many of them. Oh, do I have to play a song? I didn't push that button, game! Why are you- I guess this is a forced cutscene, isn't it? Hello, friend. Nice day for a walk, isn't it? If you hit that bell one more time, I'm gonna shove it up. I mean, it's a nice day, isn't it? Who are you? <laughs> Who I am isn't important. What's important is our current conversation. <laughs> Listen to me, my friend. I have no intention of being your enemy. Unless you make me one. I am also confident that you are not about to harm me, because I don't think that would be possible. According to the hexagrams, violent conflict will not occur. I have always held great confidence in the insights my divination provides. Oh, that smug face. Kinda just wanna stab him! <laughs> uh. I thought all the superstitious Solarians stayed in Penglea. What's more, the Day Break Tower is a relic deeply symbolic of our ancestors. This is no place to start a fight. At least one that you think you can win, because I'll finish it. <laughs> what tower? You mean these dilapidated runes? <laughs> My friend, things are never as they seem on the surface. In short, when I came back to my senses, I could no longer hear the music of the Daybreak Tower. Such a pity. I wish you could have seen this place at the height of its splendor. Magnificent things. I thought you were going to give me... Oh. Ancient sheet music. That's kind of what I was hoping for. The Solarian artifact that can be gifted to Sean Sean. What? Okay, this old sheet music was apparently used for sacrificial ceremonies. It was obtained from a mysterious Solarian individual. This mysterious Solarian individual? I feel like if I play a song, like play it just right, something cool might happen. I don't know how to do that. Maybe if I give the sheet music to Sean Sean, or like observe my surroundings a little bit better, there might be a clue either in the song that Sean Sean plays, or in the background of one of these areas. So I will pay attention to clues and see what I can find. Well, the bells don't ring in any particular order that I've discerned just yet, but this door might give me a few clues. Maybe not. Maybe I lied. What? How do I... Do I need a shield buster move? Oh, maybe a power move? I could get myself an unblockable move. That's probably what I have to do. And I'm gonna guess there's probably a soul waiting for me in there. Ah. Oh. Yes. Hello, mythological great beast. Oh, God. Um... My bad? Well, I wish I could just have you as friend and not have to use you as a method of transportation. I, I prefer friendship. Especially with gigantic great beasts of great power. <laughs> you got fed up and left. I don't blame you. Okay, so we're here now. But where is here? This is... Oh, Lake... Yauchi. I guess if you ask, it shall deliver. Well, anyone who wants to read this, feel free to read it. I'm not going to. I'm going to move on. Ah! Yes. Give me more of my inhaler juices, and I'm... Sh is this azure sand? 
feel like it is. Yes, I was correct. Awesome. But why are you giving me these things? And not just a save point. Is there going to be another, like, mini boss that shows up now? It's Hang. Hi, Hang. How are you doing, dear brother? Is it, to, is it day or night where you are right now? What does the sky look like out there? Remember when I first told you about hearing the roots sing? You thought I was hallucinating from being alone all the time. Uh Oh no? Is this another horrible flashback or something? Wait. Keen. Aren't we underground? <laughs> what is happening? Hang, why haven't you gone to sleep yet? Are you talking to the roots again? <laughs> How did you know? The weather tonight is great, so all the branches are singing. I've told you again and again, the primordial roots aren't sentient. You're most likely hearing random static generated by its energy. Did you know that light from the stars in the sky are actually from a long, long time ago? That's actually true, yeah. It takes such a long time for certain stars to reach our planet and go into our eyes that they might not even be there anymore. They might have exploded or fizzled out a long time ago. And yet, we still see them. It's kind of like looking back in time. Kind of creepy, <laughs> but it's beautiful. A star leaves its brilliance behind as it burns itself. That light travels thousands, if not millions of light years to reach us. What do you say? I heard a classmate say that the stars may shimmer brightly. But they may have already extinguished. Oh my god, you did. Am I predicting the future? I can hear the trees calling. They are singing to me. They tell me the future. All that's left are the last vestiges of their final moment echoes from the past. That's what nourishes the root. They absorb the remnants of stars, turning it into milk to feed us and supply us with energy. What my teacher doesn't know is that all souls and dreams also end up as the food for the primordial roots. They emit a song as they devour. I hear their deep melody as I fall asleep each night. They sing about all the stories across this vast expanse. Wow. That's insane to think about. So these trees, these roots, they're like parasites feeding on the universe around us. And they convert all of that in a semi-symbiotic relationship. They convert all of that into energy for us. So in other words, they keep us alive in order to feed on us over and over and over again. We're nothing more than cattle. And these roots are nothing more than parasites. <laughs> now, they may do wonderful things, and that's why I say it's probably semi-symbiotic. But that's kind of scary to think about. And maybe that's why in the beginning, you know, spoiler alerts again, but at this point, we've all gotten past the point of no return for spoilers. So, in the beginning, they were sacrificing the people. Maybe they were doing that in order to prolong their own life because the roots basically demand sacrifice. They require more energy and more power now than they ever did. So what makes us so special? And does that mean there are only nine of the Solarians left? I'm not sure what the real answer is is anymore but i'm sure the lore will probably tell us as we go it feels like this is a tale of someone coming to right a wrong that they may have had a hand in creating we may have made the roots m too powerful because again it, this feels like one of those situations where the roads to destruction were paved in good intent we tried something wonderful, and it turned out that we were playing with power that we did not completely understand. Another building. 
So am I heading toward another soul? I might be. I don't know which one it would be though, because there hasn't really been any hint. Oh, I guess this is the one I'm after, huh? Guomeng, is that? I I don't know how to to pronounce that. I guess. Oh, look who decided to show up after all this time. Yes, it is I. And why yeah. are you like? Are you a Valkyrie or something? I, I I'm not sure. <laughs> why do you have a cat? Top and like, I, you have not even wings. You have arms with feathers on them and weird claws. Did you, did your astounding intelligence lead you into this trap? This is quite eye-opening. I could sense it from afar. <laughs> huh. As stubborn as ever, I see. I've got to give it to you, though. It takes courage to storm into my territory all on your own. And you only just came back from the dead, right? I figured anyone who got another shot at life would know better than to intrude on my farmland. I, I didn't see much farming going on. I saw a lot of death and destruction. Can you fix it? Or are you talking about up top? The livestock, quote unquote. I don't intend to die in these barren. Yeah, that's what I thought. Barren, you say? Then let us fertilize it with some fresh organic remains. We farmers are naturally thrifty. Nothing goes to waste. Not even a skinny little mouse. You saw? Am I a mouse? I thought I was a cat. Uh, maybe they're making fun of me. Th that could be. Rise and shine, my beasts. There's work to be done. Uh-huh. Oh, there's the beasts. I see them. There's a presumably fast one and a tanky one. I need to make sure I uh, keep that in mind. It's dark, so scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Zhang Shi's soldiers. This technology was banned centuries ago. You've gone so far as to modify the men. Mm. What's wrong with putting everything to good you. The opportunity to serve me beyond death is a special privilege I bestow. I read the system report the moment I woke up. You apparently made a mess out of the livestock area. I was there when we captured men on the pale blue planet. They're obedient creatures that can be quite cute once tamed. The pale blue planet? Did you steal humans? <laughs> So this isn't Earth. Good to know, thank you. Ah, uh, but as pets or as livestock, in the end, they're just tools. Hmm. Some of us are, yes. I can attest to that. <laughs> Have you begun to think of yourself as one of those beasts now that you've mingled with them in their cage? Cage? You mean the outside? You should see the sun a little bit more, or whatever star this is. It's beautiful. Sometimes scary, but beautiful. Enough. Are you here to lecture me or kill me? Bring him down with all your might, my beasts. I'll reward you with some rice after. Uh, yum, plain rice. I mean, don't, I love rice, but can you at least put some soy sauce or something on it? S some sort of sauce would be better than just plain dry rice. Uh-huh. No, wait. This isn't part of the plan. That's not what I meant when I said bring him down. Dang it. This is a complete disaster. You imbeciles. Uh, there you go. I went down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll be back, you know. You know, since all I did was fall down a little pit. <laughs> My little ears twitching. They're adorable. I'm definitely a cat. I'm definitely no mouse. It feels wrong. Feels kind of corrupted. Feels like, oh, I'm being absorbed by it. Feels like I'm going to get a new ability. Hopefully it's a, a real, it's like a smash ability. Something unblockable like everyone else has. 
feels kind of unfair that they have one and I don't. So a charged attack would be great right about now. Whole Yeah, it's a charge strike. Of course it is. I was totally doing that before. So why would you not allow me to? Can I hold it for a long time? I can, actually. And I can break through shields with... I, this is what I needed. From the very beginning. I, I cannot... Huh? Can I... Charge attack it? Oh! I can just... Uh, dash through that. Okay, that makes sense. And is this not water? Although I guess it could technically be water. We are a cat, so I'm sure we don't love water. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, you can go through the water, but I can't? That's definitely water, then. It's definitely because I'm a cat. Well, that sucks. Oh, this place is creepy. Oh my god! When they die, they explode! Why? Okay, whatever. I didn't realize that th these are the types of enemies I'm up against now. I am looking forward to turning off this water, though, so I can at least get around a little bit better. Oh man, a lot a bit better. That should be, hopefully, all of the water now turned off. I still don't know what Yi's hang-up is with water, besides the fact that they are a cat. Cats don't like water. But otherwise, it, they drink water, so... And my cat doesn't hate water as much as he does. Doesn't kill my cat. My cat likes bath, so... I don't know. Oh, it takes a charged attack to hit the big bells. Oh, cool. And a mini-boss. Awesome! How awesome is this? And they're like a fish! <laughs> it's kind of crazy! I... How... Oh, this is gonna be such a cool fight. I love this fight already. Let's take down some of their health. And... Uh, okay, so they move a lot like one of the other ones, except this one drops bombs when they disappear. I'm back! Let's get this fight over with. Oh, that's right. That move is unblockable. That's the part I need to focus on. Is making sure that I don't get hit by these stupid unblockable moves. A talisman strike would also be great every once in a while. And if I can avoid the bombs, which means staying on the ground more. I need to keep myself centered. Only in those moments do I need to be in the air. Even though my timing just feels better while I'm in the air. Just focus up now, ye. We have to end this and move out the way before the bombs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. That felt good. Increases the gold gained from killing enemies, making each battle more profitable. Avarice. Thank you. That's what I've been looking for. Something that will actually make taking all these fights worth it. But... For now, I'm just going to try to collect as much gold as possible and figure out where I'm supposed to go next. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care. And goodbye!